What is going on guys? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, I'm gonna tell you why you're likely eating without absorbing. Hey guys, what is going on? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lux. I'm a fourth year medical student. I'm going into internal medicine and I make videos on a weekly basis about how to succeed as a pre-med and as a medical student. So if you, any of those topics interest you, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, like this video if you enjoy what you see. But let's get to the content of this video, which is a little bit of a motivational piece. So I'll try to keep it short but it's why you're likely eating without absorbing. And I found this concept in a book that I was reading recently called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. It's probably honestly one of my favorite books I've read. And the whole idea of the book is going from how to's to doing the house. Um, regardless of where you are in life, you may be you know, watching different videos on different topics about medical school or being pre-med. You may have seen some of my videos on tips that I like to give. Um, and you may be reading like self-improvement books, maybe on Reddit, you're just trying to get tips and trying to get a leg up and it's totally understandable. But when do you transition from getting those tips to actually applying them? And in his book, he talks about the idea of how we're often eating without ever actually absorbing the information. I found that concept to be so perfect for medical school, for pre-meds, for medical students. And so I wanted to share a few places that you're likely just eating without actually absorbing and how to flip that on its head and make sure you make the most of every single opportunity. So first I like to talk to my pre-med friends as well as my first and second year medical students who are um, likely in the classroom, but also most likely the biggest victims um, of eating without absorbing. It's, I get it, you're absorbing a lot of information, a lot of it's being thrown at you and no one expects you to understand all of it. But ask yourself if the techniques that you're using are actually going to help you retain the information for the long run. You don't wanna just memorize um, that piece of information for the test in a week or two weeks. You wanna be able to remember it ideally as a third and fourth year medical student. If you can't do that, um, majority of the time, that means you're not using the right techniques. I'll link down some videos down below on things that you can do to make your studying more active, techniques that I use, and hopefully those will help you out. But make sure you're not going through the first or second year uh, of medical school, especially by just eating without absorbing. Don't just like make it by through your exams because you're gonna struggle on your boards, you're gonna struggle as a, on your rotations, and you're gonna wish you have done more to actually absorb the info. So that is my speech and spiel to you guys. Um, I will link down, as I mentioned, videos that will help you kind of transition your techniques to ones that are more effective and help you retain information long-term. But now I wanna to talk to my third and fourth year friends uh, on their rotations and talk about how we as upperclassmen often fail at absorbing the info. And the common example is either we're having a resident attending teach us something and we may understand it in that bit of time that they're teaching it, but we never give it any thought. We never try to process that information outside of their lesson. And so even if we have an attending teach us an amazing lecture about heart failure, you know, uh, liver disease, whatever it may be, we totally forget it and we never retain that information. And I regret those experiences uh, so much now. As a fourth year, I wish I would have paid more attention, but also I've tried to absorb it outside of that setting because I know I would be a much better future clinician. So make sure if you're on your rotations, every time you have an opportunity where somebody is teaching you and is trying to distill their knowledge to the most high yield that they can for you, that you take at least a second to process the information, ask yourself, um, and this goes back to my pre-meds and first years as well. Ask yourself, what did I learn through this all? If you're watching a medical school lecture, if you're watching a YouTube video, you're reading a book, what did I learn? How can I apply it? Then you are on the process of absorbing your information. Once you start transitioning into that direction, you will learn that information sticks with you much better. And two, you're able to kind of hold on to those most important lessons that you've got. I know for a fact there has been information that I've been taught that I just wish, I wish that I kept on, um, but I didn't practice absorbing it afterwards. So I encourage you guys as a fourth year med student regretting some of those experiences that every time you're watching a lecture, you're learning through a clinician or through your patients, you take a second and you ask yourself, what value did I get out of this and how can I apply it in the future? 
if you uh, do that more often than that, you will find yourself to be more successful um, than yourself as well as your peers. So hopefully that um, helps just one of you guys out. Make sure you are absorbing and not just eating. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you give a like, comment down below with anything you've learned. Take a second to be reflective, um, but also any questions you have as being a pre-med or a medical student, I'll be happy to answer them um, through your comments as well as future videos. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to join the community, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm thrilled with the community that I've built and that we've built together. So I encourage you to be part of it if you're not already. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.